Paramount in Pictures produces the most bespoke remakes in the history of film, bustling with originality, brilliance and flair. Today they will be interviewing a prospective filmmaker, Ted McSchmidt, who wants to leave his mark on the industry forever. Ignore the camera, um, just be yourself. Right! Okay, picture this, right? It's a wild forest, mist everywhere. There's trees as tall as a house. And in comes lurking through Bruce Willis. He's got stubble, he's bold on top. He's hedge, he's macho, he's everything you dreamed of in a man. He's wearing long black leather jacket, a gun strapped to his thigh, no one strapped to his other thigh. He's got knives down his socks. He's wearing a deer stalker. And then out of nowhere, away from him in the mist, you can see a man dressed in a grey suit. He's got a white shirt on. His name is Bugsy. And Bruce Willis? Bruce Willis is FUD! Free double D. <laughs> double D. <laughs> Shut up. So th this is a rough artist sketch of what he will look like. There's his eyes, he's, he's got a, a shiny patch on his head. He's gonna have a chin as well, like most people, and um, stubble, and he's got this, this grimace this grimace on his face that says, I don't want to live. He's sort of just a person, really, if anything. What does Bugsy look like? Okay, Bugsy, this is the best bit. Let me go over here. Okay, Bugsy, he's, have you seen the cartoon? Okay, because this is where the best bit, this is where we ground it. It's, it's a very gritty, Nolan-esque, uh, very realistic, set in the real world kind of thing. Because Bugsy, he's not a bunny. Oh no! He's a hard-hitting gangster. This is his head, yeah? He's got vaguely buck teeth, like that. That's where the rabbitness comes from. That's why we call him Bugsy the Bunny. And uh, he's, he's got a neck, again, just like Bruce Willis. They could be brothers. And he's got shoulders like a regular person. And he's got like this, this very bug-esque coat. He's, he's got this lovely long blazer. He's like a real 1950s gangster. It's, it's really lovely. Look at that. That is, that is class. That is high class. Needs more colour! Just stop it. Stop it there. I think we'll end it. No, no, please, guys. I've got more. Look, Steve Buscemi as Daffy the Duck. He's also a gangster. Come on, guys. This is me! Okay, f*** this. I'm out. So, um, how did the interview uh, go? Uh. Absolutely awful. From the moment he walked in, I knew it was going to be a pile of w Can you uh, tell us about the interviewer himself? Well, he's gangly, a bit of a scumbag, really. I just... I don't want nothing to do with him. So what was his idea? He wanted to make a live action, no animation... Looney Tunes. Oh, I can... Well, I think that's kind of the kind of thing Hollywood wants these days, isn't it? No, no. No? All right. Bruce Willis. So, um, what, what did you think of the uh, pitch? No. Um. He liked his colour. Yeah. So, um. What do you overall uh, think of the idea? I, I, I kind of like like his whole idea, like the whole thing. So, what's your um, what's your relation to um, to your father? Well, he's my father. So, Ted, how did the pitch go? <gasps> I thought it was going really well. Well, they liked me. What what did and they, they like? like for a pen at me, and the other one told me to get out. Wasn't that the same man I threw the pen at you? No, no, I wasn't looking. 
Do you think you'll ever get this idea off the ground? <laughs> they don't understand the troubles of being a starving artist for dying for your passion. They just want to shut you down and they just want to ruin who you are. Get the f off me! <laughs> Have a tea! Following the failure of his previous meeting with Paramount in Pictures, Ted McSchmidt is back for one last crack. You're back for more, Mr. Schmack. It's McSchmidt! I'm back with my new hot Hollywood director, Francesca! Ta da! Who are you? Who are you? Who the f is he? My name's Longinus. I'm his counselor. I'd love to say it's a pleasure to meet you. It's not. Okay, let's just have some fun and read, have some high beat. No. <coughs> Anywho, so back to the point. 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 Oh. Poker Hunters 3 double oh. pack. Booze, melons, cojones, watermelons, jugs. They all are like fruity. Like the number three, if you put a pair of nipples on them, like boobs. So, tell me more about the integration of said boob. Do you have a wife? Yes, that's how I got this g Well then, think about your wife's teeth. Just remember, you know, that sort of thing. We're gonna put that in 3D! Boobs. Actual boobs. It's one giant tit. That's the movie. Two giant tits. Two giant tents! Yeah. Get this. I'm changing it from poker hunters to Porna Hunters! I love it! I love it! Shut up! Whoa. So boys, what's the verdict? Are we gonna make some money? All of the money. Money. Fine. Why can't you do my remake of Billy Elliot? Because there's, there's not enough tits in it. Or Fanny. <laughs> 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 So, um, I understand that Ted came back for the day. He did. He did. Did he deliver this time? Well, can't really say he delivered, but his, what was it, Francis, yes, Francis, he, he knows Hollywood. Boobs, boobs, boobs. That's Hollywood. Are you sure you're, um, not a porn company? No, 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 never. So, how did the pitch go for you? They just wanted boobs! I don't want boobs! I want Billy Elliot! Hey now, hey! Come here! 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 Come so much money, I can retire at the age of 12. <laughs> You're already older than 12. Yeah, I forget my name sometimes. We're going to be rich, Francois! <laughs> rich! Ted, I told you not in public. Sorry. If you came to prove, there's no reason to prove. Okay, picture this, right? It's a wild forest. Mist. There's trees as tall as a house. Um, I'm back with my new hot Hollywood director. It's Nick Schmidt! Following the success of Pocahontas 3 Double D, Paramount in Pictures are eager to find their next big successor, with pitches flying in left, right, and center.
Wait, Dad, I've got something to pitch. You? A film? Yeah. Yes, the pitch was Tom Hardy and James DeVal. And did you base these characters off of Batman and Donnie Darko? No. Anyway, the film is Brokeback Mountain 3 D. And how the hell is that meant to work? The D. The D stands for Stop! Right there. I have had enough of your tomfoolery. We have hamburgers waiting in the refectory. You disgust me. Don't worry, Jordan. I liked it at least. You're all that matters to me. Meanwhile, in the new town of Skittleberg, Ted McSchmidt and Francis Frankfurt are very busy promoting the release of Pocahontas 3 Double D. Hello, we are here at the Odeon Cinema. We are promoting the release of our new film, aren't we, Francois? Yes, we are. Yeah? What film are we promoting? We've had so many, I don't remember. It's Pocahontas 3 Double D. It's, it's an amazing movie. Oh, there's some. It's, there's this really great scene where, like, they're walking along, it's all misty and dark and murky, and there's trees as tall as a house, right? And then some tentacles come out. We've uh, got a few sequels in the pipeline to it, haven't we? Yes, Ready? We have. Quite a few, actually. We've um, just signed a contract for uh, another 10 movies. Obviously, we limited it to 10 because we didn't want to be seen as selling out. That would have been wrong. Yes, 10 was definitely the death mark. We were going to go for 15, but the production company said that we shouldn't. Also, we have the new soundtrack done by Han Hatsune Miku. Oh, For all that is good and bouncy, Doctor Cockbite, I will defeat you with Shut my up. long nails and nuclear Shut hair pulling. You never. Just watch me cover your you eyes, slowly, princess. This is going to be messy. Oh, this is the only real method of attack. Oh, oh, it's hurting me. Did you see that, mate? That's what you did get you, from did you see that? All of its How good was that, man? This is much more action-packed than the original. Yeah. Did, did you not hear me the first time I said to shut your f***ing face? So, um, uh, Longinus, I hear you've gone see Pocahontas 3 Double D. Oh, have I ever. Pocahontas 3 Double D is the best okay. film I have ever seen in my life. It's full of action, norks, and a great, a great story about how a woman is nothing without a great pair of tits. Um, okay, yeah. sounds Me good. Megan Fox's tits are coming right in the screen, in 3D. Yeah, in the face. Sweet. What kind of films do you like? Well, I'm into films like One Flew the Cuckoo's Nest, starring um, Jack Nicholson. Oh, I've heard that Francis Frankfurt is going to remake that, but uh, with a little black kid. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Should be interesting. Oh. And what are we going to do with all these out-of-date Macs? Three years later at Paramount in Pictures, Ted and Francis are pitching their latest film idea. Okay, so it's all about this disease, right? It's called the number 10. Right, you know, well, you can take a p you call it number one. Take a poo, number two, right? Well, well imagine every bodily excretion all coming out of you at once. Everything. Right, so, you're taking a piss. you're doing a sh you're vomiting! Ah! Right, not only that, you're bleeding, you're sweating, you're salivating, right? And you're f f off! Basically, it's all coming out of you at once. It's gonna be a horror thriller. Are you thrilled? Well, boys, um, I think you've cottoned onto something pretty good there. We'll end the pitch. We're going to get some money. Why did you change your jumper? Just retire in my wardrobe. Uh, Dad, I thought 
thought I told you to stay in reception. There's a lady and her son here from the Death Wish campaign. It's Make a Wish. Uh, yeah, that. Wrong way. His name is Henry and he's a huge fan of Pocahontas 3 Double Day and he was just dying to meet the creative team behind it. Dying. Great choice of words, you absolute bitch. Yeah, you can't just spring this sort of shit on us in the last minute. Uh, who are you? My name is Rosie. Well, f you, Rosie. F you and your son. I love Pocahontas 3 Double Day. It's Megan Fox here. Are you f***ing kidding me? You're like 40 years old or something. My eighth birthday today. What the fuck did you do? No, no, no! Um, excuse us one moment. Whisper, 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 whisper. Can I have an autograph? No. no! Yeah, no dice. I don't want your diseases. I don't suppose you think this is our core fan base? Most no, definitely. Hold on a second. Angle that camera at me, Mr. Will. I've got some things I need to say. Okay. Doesn't it piss you off how you make these Idea Man documentaries just for people to want you to sign shit? And then, then, they just constructively criticise you all the time. But, but what about the money? It's, I just don't want the money. 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 It's not about the money. 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 I just, I want to make the world dance. Forget about the prize tag. Shall we cut it there? No, let's just not, let's not just cut it there. Let's cut it forever. Filmmakers work and put hours and years of work into the films that they make and for what? Money? Yeah. Great, but that doesn't stop the fans from trampling all over everything we've done because our poker hentai sequel doesn't follow the same direction as the rest of them. Yeah, it didn't stop Socks the movie from being the worst straight to DVD film release of all time. And now look where we are. Ben Affleck's playing Batman for f**k's sake. Ben Affleck! Why not cast someone good? I mean, why not Little Wayne? Clues in a name there, my friends. My point is, until you fans stop pestering us, until you stop giving your money to us endlessly until you stop asking us to start sign an endless stream of shit. Hollywood is dead. I'm done. What? You know what? So am I. Yourself something funky. Yeah.